Now we will analyze the Quare packets using Wireshark network analyzer. I'm switching to Wireshark. So I'm selecting uh, my pack. Okay. So let I start my Coyf uh, server. So Coyf server has been started. Uh, as you can see, it started in the port number five six eight three. So let's. Uh, send a request to server let's send a get request so coyap and m get Uh, let me send the request so it's uh, send the request and similarly it got the response uh, the time as a response so in packet analyzer also it captured the packets so as you can see those are the two packets so just stop it and let's analyze these two packets first one will be the um, Confirm and request packet and next one is the response acknowledgement packet. So let's analyze on this. So this is the request packet. So as you can see, this is a UDP packet and uh, its port number display port number is 5683. That's a Coyap port number. So let's uh, see the Coyap packets. So these are the different fields from the Coyap packet. So let me give you an overview. Um, so this is the Coyap message uh, format structure. So first field is a uh, version. So it's a bit of two bits. So as you can see, uh, this is a version field. So it's of one. And second is uh, type that's all for two bit. So in the type field, as you can see, it's giving us confirmed. So in this type field, it can be either confirmable or non confirmable uh, reset or acknowledgement signal so next field is a token length now we are in this um, scenario we are not using any tokens so as of for now its uh, token length is zero if we are using any token means it will give the length of the token we are using and next one is a uh, code it's an 8-bit integer so as you give we are we are uh, code is a uh, get get request that is correspond to that zero one the code field in a coops message structure is an eight bit so actually basically it splits into a three bit msb that is uh, the code class and it's a uh, five the lsb five bit is uh, it's defined as a detail so basically it's denoted as um, c dot dd so c where c represents the code class and d represents a decimal number for details so as a for in the table you can see that um, these are the codes corresponding to the different types of uh, uh, methods so whether the zero first one the zero represents it's belong to that uh, request so that you can see the code class zero which uh, correspond to request and code class two which represent to the response and four is client error response and five is client server error response and the code 0 0.00, 0 that indicates it's an empty message. So in this table, that first one is 0 0.01, that's a get request. And similarly, that 0 0.02, that 0 0.02 indicates to the post, 0 0.03 corresponding to the put message, and 0 0.04 is corresponding to the delete message. So let's see which code we got it from the Varsha. 
so yeah we got it as a zero one so it's a get request so next we move to the next field after code that 16 bit uh, that message id that uh, next structure is message id so we got it as a 29546 as the message id it's a, it was a generated from the client so next field is an option so let's see what's an option is um, coop defines a number of options uh, that can be included in a message each option instance in a message specifies the option number of the defined option coop option the length of the option value and the option value itself both request and response may include a, a one or more options instead of uh, specifying the option number directly the option number for the each of the instance is calculated as uh, sum of its delta and the option number of the preceding instance in the message so i will explain with you in an example so this is the op options uh, chart which are available uh, which for the coop protocol so if the message has the option number is 12 that it negates it belongs to the content format so similarly if it has a if option number is of type 11 that indicates is of uri path so let's see our packets so our packet which we send it to the server it uh, contains the option called uri path so it's of basically it's of type 11 so let's see what the 11 belongs to so 11 yeah 11 is belongs to the ura path so it's of ura path and it have a delta of 11 and so length 4 that is a time the time length is 4 so it's a resource path ura path that be, that is corresponding to the resource path only in uh, coop request uh, we are not get, sending any payload uh, we are just sending a request signal uh, in the URI in the resource of field uh, time. So while in the response, we will get that message in the payload section. Similarly, let's see the uh, acknowledgement packet also. So this is the acknowledgement packet. Let's see the packet also. So this also uh, the version is uh, the one and second uh, the type the two bit that is uh, it's of um, zero two that is acknowledgement it's of type acknowledgement and this one in the server sending also it doesn't use any token so that's why its token length is zero the next field is also zero and about the code it using code like a 2.05 so let's see what it correspond to so this is the coop response code so actually this is two starting number two code class belongs to the response so we are getting to we got uh, something like 2.05 so this belongs to content so if it's a class if it starts with the code class starts with four means it indicates it's a client error response and similarly if it starts with a five class five as a class means it indicates server error response so let's see uh, yeah we got a code as a 2.05 so that is 2.05 that indicates it's a content and the next field is a message id and we are getting the message id as 29546 this is the same message id we have sent it from the client and about the options so the response which which we get from the server which which includes three options first option is of a e tag and next one is of content format and next one is of max age so let me explain what the what in, it belongs to Basically, that e tag that is a, a lo resource local identifier that is used to differentiate between the representation of the same resource that vary over time. So it is basically generated by the server providing the resource, resource, which may generate in any number of ways, including a version, checksum, hash, or time. 
and content format it basically uh, uh, that option that uh, tells that uh, client that it's a basic of uh, its type of uh, uttf8 format and next option is of max age that option that indicates the maximum time in a response it may be catched before it consider not fresh and the option value is an it's an integer value so so let's analyze the options uh, how they calculated the delta so in option one it's of type 4 and it's of length of also 4 that indicates uh, that's of e tag so that's an e tag and uh, similarly in options 2 actually it's of type of 12 but the calculation is uh, its delta is 8 because it already got type 4 so that's it the calculation so 8 plus 4 that gives a 12 that's the formula we already discussed so the option number of uh, each instant is calculated as sum of its delta plus that uh, option number of the preceding instant in the message so that's why uh, it's, it's it's this this instance delta is 8 and it should be added with the uh, option number of the preceding message so that's why 8 plus 4 it gives the type 12 as the option number of this instance type 12 um, option which indicates um, content format so option 12 and next option is uh, of max age and it's of type 14 so earlier we got option is having a option number of 12 so if you want 14 means it the delta should be 2 so then only we can 14 send type 12 the sum of this with this instance delta is 2 and the preceding message option number is 12 so that 2 plus 12 that becomes the um, option number of uh, this instance so type 14 that belongs to the max edge so this option that indicates maximum time as the response can be catched before it is considered not fresh or and the option value it's an integer value too so thereafter the three options payload is coming after the three options uh, we are not using any token and options we have seen those options next to our options uh, we are using payload so let's see the payload what's the payload we are getting so the payload length is 15 so it's basically a time so it's a december 13 and the time is shown so this length is also 15 so this is the message format of a response so we reached the end of the video uh, so let's summarize what we have learned so we have a look at the coiap uh, iot protocol so the constrained application protocol is an simple and very lightweight protocol for the iot applications and we implemented and uh, tested the coiap protocol in c using a uh, libco and we analyzed the Koya packets using Wireshark network analyzer. So, um, thanks for watching this video and have a nice day. Thank you.